Hi and welcome, it's Darius Barazande and in this video I wanted to go through a really powerful and important list of things you can do to really take control of your time, your focus, and also ultimately your frequency because what we spend our time on actually determines our frequency and I think we know this but you know it's like one of those things that we forget and I do it all the time like I'll go and maybe by accident you know get involved in looking at news headlines and things like that and then I'll stop and say okay why do I not feel good or why am I not getting things done that I want or why didn't I finish this thing that was important to me and why do I feel like now my energy has dropped well if you can actually manage what you spend your time and attention on, you're going to find your frequency stays way higher during the day. You feel better because you get the things done that you know and need to get done. And you have more space available to be and experience what you want in this reality. And so I want to walk through this tool. It's a bit of a time management and, uh, you know, focus tool by my friend Tim Pond. And at the very end of this video is also something really exciting. Um, if you go over here to our blog, Tim has actually included a link to some subscriber tools where you can actually access a bunch of beautiful free things here on this special page. You just enter in the password, which is going to be Tim's gifts, and you will get to this treasure vault of gifts from my friend Tim Pond, including bunches of articles on manifesting wealth, prosperity, being grateful, and much more. But until we get there, um, we're going to go into this beautiful worksheet. And also, if you're watching this on Facebook, I posted a link in the description so you can get all of these gifts there as well. All right, well, let's hopefully find this beautiful worksheet that Tim put together. And one of the things that he starts off with is just this realization that usually we are the biggest time thief to ourselves we're the ones that actually waste the time ourselves and this is kind of important because a lot of us and myself included will make the excuse hey i've got kids i've got work i've got spouse i've got parents i've got so many people pulling on my attention and time that i just can never get anything done well that may be true and for many of us it's absolutely true but but we choose what we say yes to, we choose what we say no to, we choose how we use our time. And if we actually start using our time better, we'll find that no matter what the situation is, we can actually get a lot more done and be a lot more connected to what we really want than we ever thought. All right, so the first question Tim suggests is, how do I sabotage my time management in my mind? You know, do I complain about being hurried all the time do i worry too much about tomorrow's challenges you know this to me falls under just the age old and wise advice of being present a lot of times we're not present we're worried about challenges that haven't happened yet or never will happen or we wear ourselves down we lower our frequency to survival because we keep thinking about all the hundreds of things we have to do right and so our energy drops we feel frustrated we lose creativity the best thing to do there is just stay present and say, okay, I can't get everything done. I get it, but I am going to do the one little tiny thing that's the easiest thing for me to do right now. And then the next and the next and the next. Okay, here's point number two. How do I habitually sabotage my time management? Now, a lot of times, like we're trying to manage our time. Maybe we have things in order. We know what we need to do, but we procrastinate. We can't say no. We're, we're, we say yes to everybody. We can't manage the information flow or we're involved in too many projects. Information flow is real powerful because information carries energy. I believe it carries light or the absence of light at some dimensional level. And when we focus in on the wrong information, let's say I go straight to my computer and I want to turn on some you know, news about something going on in the world and the person who wrote it has a very negative slant or they want me to have a certain end opinion or conclusion and they're swaying my energy into fear into worry into calamity you know which is what brings people to news many times is that fear of something bad's going to happen or the world is going to self destruct if i don't know what's going on and so that energy harms us it it creates an information flow where we focus more and more on those ideas so then we may go from that article to another article to another article and that information flow can decide our life 
And many people stay trapped in that. That's what I call quite literally the matrix. Choose your information flow. Choose your energy flow. You know, if you love healing, watch healing videos, watch meditation videos, watch education videos, listen to Wealth Revolution calls, listen to some of our videos on YouTube that we put up. You know, there's so much to manage that flow. And when you do that, you open up another world that stays in alignment with what makes you feel good. Now, here's the next thing. How can I change my thinking patterns? Now, here you may have to go in and actually do some work. You may have to ask the question, why am I feeling a certain way? For example, I'm recording this on February, and we are getting uh, ready for our next season launch. And, of course, there's a lot going on. And I remember I was sitting down to write some different emails and ideas, and I remember feeling blocked, like I just couldn't get it down. And I wanted to do everything and anything to be out of the office and the space I was working in and just do anything else, right? Procrastinate. And I had to really ask the question, why? What was going on? And as I started looking into it, it was a fear. A fear that I wouldn't do good enough. Fear that I wouldn't come up with the right ideas. Fear that people wouldn't like the ideas I come up with. And these thinking patterns, when we examine them, usually if they're not serving us, are grounded in a fear or some belief system that we're worried. You know, we're not going to be fully accepted or we're not going to do a good job or we're not going to be able to do it. And truthfully, that thinking pattern can make you hold off the things that you really want to do in your life. So go in, ask the question why, and sometimes just by finding out why, you can look at that and hold it in a space of just unconditional surrender uh, of opinion, you know, not not judging it, not saying, oh, that's bad. Let me let me tell you all the reasons brain why this is not true to say, OK, thank you for that. Thank you. And I love you. And many times it'll it'll begin to kind of just feel different and you can go forward. And also there could be habits. You know, if you wake up and the first thing you do is check your phone, chances are somebody else's. Uh, priorities may dictate your life and your energy. Um, so you want to you want to choose like what's my real habit today? What's the one thing I'm going to do for me? Um, and then you want to allocate your life around the three or four most important things to you. Now this is kind of like setting goals, which is so important because goals to me really are just ways that I'm going to focus my creative energy, my frequency into this physical world and use it to have a different experience that that brings me joy. Let me say that again, you know, goals and focus is really just a way to harness my creative energy, that God source energy that spirit's given me and direct it in ways that I'm going to use to shift and open up a new reality for myself that brings me joy. So if I've got a goal that I want to run a mile in under 10 minutes or five minutes or whatever it is, that's bringing me joy. That's going to be something I'm going to focus on to shift my reality and use my creative God source energy to create it so I can experience the joy of completing it or the joy of what lies next at the edge of that beautiful mountaintop and what is the next thing for me. And it could be for you having more abundance, becoming a healer, becoming a teacher, um, writing an article, writing a poem, taking on clients in energy healing. Focus in on it. And when you do, when you put that creative energy, when you, when you really just almost like say to this reality matrix, this is what I'm focused on. The amazing thing about the world is that it's so abundant. You're going to start to get so many different ideas and understandings about ways you can make it happen. I saw a meme the other day that said this, we do not create abundance. Abundance is all around us. What we only create is lack. Now think about that. What if that's true. Now, I've said create abundance many times. I've used that term. It seems natural to me, but it really made me think like, what if actually the universe is completely abundant without us? But what we do is bring our illusions, our ideas, our fears, our programming, and we actually create lack. So think of it. The moment you write down what's most important to you, abundance is already starting to come in on those items. Really think about that. Like it will start coming in. If you say, you know what, I want to I wanna become healthier and eat more, you know, green things, right? <laughs> What's going to happen? You are going to start thinking about it. You're going to go to the bookstore. You're going to see books. 
you may go online and read video, you know, watch videos, read articles. You are going to begin to experience more abundance in that area because all of those different reality timelines are in existence. You just only have a selective amount of awareness at the third dimensional level to make them come into reality. Think about that. It's mind blowing. Um, and it shows me, I believe, that anything is possible. And we haven't even started talking about timelines uh, <laughs> because even what you're seeing in this planet right now, you may say, well, I don't like that. Well, what if there's an alternate timeline where the world you want to live on actually exists in this, you know, dimensional space? And by you focusing on what you really want, you actually go live on that planet and uh, have a whole different life. Reality is very, very fascinating. But here's the thing. You can get mired down in so many high esoteric ideas that you don't do the basics. And the basics are managing your time, frequency, and energy. Okay, so here's the next question. Once you've figured these things out, and this is going to be for you. I, I don't want to go too long, but this could be family, friends, children, energy healing, my health, my pets, uh, my education, spirituality, awakening, finding my purpose. You can put whatever is most important to you. And I always say if it really is important to you, it makes you feel good to think about it. If, if you don't feel good or feel enlightened or, or energized or, or lighter, I should say, it's probably not something. You know, if I put it on here for me, accounting, no, it's just not for me. Um, uh, and for you, figure out what that is. Okay, how do I reserve enough time for them or to them. Well, what you're going to want to do here is actually take your calendar out and say, if spirituality is the number one thing on my list, I'm going to set aside daily 10 minutes, 15 minutes, weekly and monthly, a certain amount of time to do these things. And if these are important to you and you spend more of your day doing this, guess what? You are going to be much, much happier. Absolutely. And I think you should really think about meditating or you know, experiencing different activations and healing tools. We have them daily at UAuth Revolution. That's another thing you know we do. And if you're new to us, that's one of the things we do every day on our replays. We post them for the world. And every day you get an activation that shifts your energy and gives you a higher dimensional experience. That is a great daily experience to have um, for anyone who wants to move into a higher way of being. All right, the other thing here that I love is that Tim talks about relaxing and recovering. And there's some questions here like, how do I rest and relax more? How can I sleep more or better? What's my daily relaxation time like or ritual like? And then how can I relax more often with friends, family, and significant others? The reason relaxation is so important, and I suggest you go through all four of these, is because our eyes and our awareness are picking up hundreds of thousands of things, if not millions of different sensory objects and frequencies every every second, okay? It is incredible what the human awareness can pick up, you know, at a very unconscious level, meaning we're taking it all in at our deepest level. But in our conscious level or our waking level, our waking awareness, we can only take in a, a very small amount. And it's usually focused in on what we're thinking about in that moment. Right. And the reason that we get the best ideas when we relax is that everything that's in our subconscious, which our subconscious is arranging and organizing all of this stuff, comes forward when you actually take time to relax and recover. So the idea for you all through evolution didn't come when I was working. It came when I was walking on a trail. And as I was walking, I started thinking, well, I've got this idea. I'd like to do this show. I'd like to go back into this area. I'd like to help people create something powerful in their life. And that's where you wealth came about. And as I reached out to somebody about it, it began to germinate and take form. But that idea, if I was sitting down with a piece of paper, struggling, saying, I got to figure out, you know, what am I going to do with this or that idea? And I was push, push, push. All that's conscious thought. It can give you some ideas. It can solve a few problems, but the biggest like life breakthroughs and things usually come when you're relaxing and you're recovering. But here's the thing about this, okay? You might say, well, Darius, then why is it that the person sitting on the couch watching TV and not doing anything um, feels frustrated? Because it's a set of tasks that need to, I believe, happen in order, okay? You set an intention, this is important to me. You get clear on it, you plug into it. You may spend time working with it, studying it, 
opening up to it, seeking answers to it, and then you step away. And in that relaxation time, what you've been piecing together, all of those inputs, all of that awareness comes forward. I've even had when I'm relaxing, you know, higher dimensional beings and different energies and ideas come in and, and speak to me and download and channel. But the person who maybe just is relaxing all the time, well, they don't have a focus. They don't have an awareness of something they really want to see come about. So what do they get? Well, they just get more relaxed. But here's what we know. The more we relax and do nothing, eventually we get frustrated because the number one thing that humans, I believe, really want, I think there's two things. There's love and there's risk. There's that little bit of risk of learning something new, trying something new, taking a drive down a road maybe that you've never traveled, um, taking that trail that's a little challenging and different. But ah, when you see that beautiful vista at the end, it's worth it all. So those things of really, really focusing your awareness and moving forward and feeling what you are is really important. And this tool is great. I think so many times as spiritual people, we forget to actually do these things, these simple things that create the amazing, you know, base hits in baseball that are going to allow the team to win or the fundamentals of shooting a free throw in basketball. It's all about the basics that open the big doorways. And uh, I do these myself. Um, one of the things you can set aside time is just to lay meditate and allow wisdom to come in i've been doing that and as i do that i find i have infinite amounts of things to share and talk about and grow from but it doesn't stop there because if you'd like a little more information let me fix this from tim we've got a beautiful gift here from him it's at this website you'll find it on the blog and i'll also put it um down below in this video and just use his password tim's gift Tim's gifts, you'll find it, uh, a password box will, will pop up. You enter it in and you get all this beautiful stuff absolutely free. And he's got articles, he's got um, all sorts of things, a prosperity mantra, and many other fun things for you. So if you'd like to learn more or just take time to enjoy it all, take a look at that link. And thanks for watching the video. I know this is a little different than stuff I normally do, but to be honest, it's actually not different at all because it's one of the fundamentals of managing our energy in a world where there's so much going on and certainly so much change. Much love. We look forward to seeing you on the next UL session. And thanks for watching this video. Take care, everyone. I put the link to Tim's gifts down below.